Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see methods of calculating earthwork. So let's see what are the methods. So the first method for calculation of earthwork quantities is mid-sectional area method. Then we have mean sectional area method. As the name says, it is mean. Mean means average. So it is also known as average cross-sectional area method. Then we have prismoidal formula and last trapezoidal formula. So these are four methods which are available for the calculation of earthwork for any embankment. So let's see them one by one. So the first method is mid-sectional area method. See, in this method, first area of midsection is calculated by taking into account the different heights of banks at the two end portions and then this is multiplied by the length of the section to get the volume of earthwork it is very simple what we will do first area of midsection will be calculated whatever is the area of that particular midsection then what is the consideration in calculation of this mid area section heights of banks at the two end portions will be taken height at the banks of two end portions will be taken and then it will be multiplied by the length so area into length what is area into length area into length is the volume so we will get the volume of earthwork we will see it in detail in the numerical let's see just the description of these methods and this is the standard format or table in which it is calculated and this is the section of an embankment so let us consider that b is the width of formation and d1 and d2 is the depth of embankment or cutting at two ends for example here the depth is d1 uh, if it is if you are looking at along the length so it will be the projections will be like this so at particular section the depth will be d1 and at particular section the deep, mm, depth will be d2 so we will take average depth that is nothing but average height or different heights of two embankment portions will be considered that is what i have uh, taken this sentence and it will be multiplied by the length of that particular section so we will get the volume of that particular uh, embankment so this is the first method mid sectional area method so the table will look like this stations or chainage then we will enter for example chainage will be 10 meter 20 meter 30 meter along the length what is the change that we will enter in this uh, first column then depth or height at 10 meter change what is the depth of um, uh, depth of embankment then mean depth we will uh, take mean of these two for example at 10 meter it is 2 meter uh, and for 20 meter it is 4 meter so 2 plus 4 and its average means 2 plus 4 divided by 2 so that will give you 3 average we have to take so that is the average mean depth then area of central portion we will find out and area of sites will also find out means area of this portion and area of this portion what is the area of this portion side portion half into base into height and this is the rectangle or uh, square you can see whether it will be a square or rectangle so areas you can find out then total cross-sectional area what will be the total cross-sectional area it will be addition of this b into dm plus this half into base into height half into base into height so means area of this particular cross section then length between two stations as i told you i have we will have to take how much is the length between those two stations and if the quantity is in negative then it is a cutting positive embankment that you can identify whether the quantity is in cutting or whether the quantity is in embankment or filling so the formula will be b plus s bd plus s into l so in this way you can calculate the quantities by using mid sectional area method then we will see the next method we will also see this method in detail in the numericals i will explain each and everything in the numerical also then the second method second method is mean sectional area method so what is mean sectional area method in this method the cross sectional area at two ends at the section is calculated then mean of those two is multiplied by the length of section to get the volume of earthwork see 
in previous uh, method we will we was we were taking the area of mid section and this is a mean sectional area we will calculate the area and we will take a mean of that means average of that and then it will be multiplied by the length to get the volume of earthwork so in previous videos in previous method we were taking the mean depth and in this we will be taking mean cross sectional area that is the only difference then let us consider that at area at one end is a1 so the formula will be same bd1 plus sd1 square and let us consider that area at other end is a2 so formula will be bd1 bd2 plus sd2 square so a1 a2 we can calculate so what is the mean area mean area will be very simple mean of these two areas it will be a1 plus a2 by 2 that will give you mean area am so that is the method or that is the procedure by min sectional area method and this is the standard table or format in which you can calculate the quantities for the numericals same concept is there but in this we are taking the mean sectional area not mean depth and quantities will be calculated by the formula am into l so this is the second method so quantity how we we can calculate the quantity area into length na? so area we have calculated it is mean area a1 plus a2 by 2 that is what i have put here a1 plus a2 by 2 into length so that will give you mean sectional area and after that quantity will be calculated now the third method is prismoidal formula method so as the name says prismoidal shape prismoidal shape formula will be used in this method area of both the ends and mid section is calculated and quantity is calculated by the formula what is the formula quantity is l by 6 into a1 plus a2 plus 4 am this is the standard formula prismodal formula where a1 and a2 are the cross section at ends and am is the area at mid section we will see we will take number of sections first a1 will be the uh, section area at first section a2 will be the area at another section and am is the average area into 4 so that will give you prismodal formula uh, method this will give you the quantity of that particular embankment whether it is in cutting or filling so this is formula which can be used for both cutting and embankment as i told you it will give you the values both for cutting as well as filling or embankment then how you will calculate the volume see the volume formula is d by 3 into a0 plus a n plus 4 times odd areas see this is a1 a3 a5 and so on plus 2 times even areas a2 a4 and so on so the formula will look like this what you can observe here see a0 is the first area a n is the last area plus 4 times the summation of odd area see odd 1 3 5 and so on plus 2 times summation of even areas so this is the formula of volume by using prismodal formula and in case of prismodal formula it is very necessary to have odd number of sectional areas remember this if the number of sections are odd then and then you can use this formula and for example they are even even number of sections so what you will do you calculate the area up to odd numbers only and last part of that particular area will be calculated by another method see if there are even number of sections then end strip will be there for example what we want we want odd numbers na? for example 9 is a odd number for 9 number of section sectional areas we can find out na? the volume but what if that number is even 10 numbers so what you will do you will calculate you will apply that formula for first nine numbers nine areas and for tenth area you will use any other method and you will calculate it separately that remaining strips uh, area or volume so this is what we have to do in the prismodal formula so what what is this uh, this sentence same, says the same thing if there are even number of sections the end strip should be calculated separately and remaining strip should be calculated by prismodal formula for odd numbers use prismodal formula and that remaining one will have 
any other formula which you can use or simple volume formula so this is the th third method freeze model formula method now the last method is trapezoidal formula method so what is this method as the name says trapezoidal formula will be used in this method area at different cross sections of road canal or dam is calculated for a trapezoidal section and the quantity can be calculated by this formula what is the formula d that is depth in bracket a0 plus a n first area plus last area by 2 plus remaining areas a1 a2 and so on so that is what i have written here c d into first area plus last area by 2 plus sum of remaining areas so this is the trapezoidal formula in which you can calculate the quantities by the, this formula what is the formula depth into first area plus last area by 2 that is mean area of first and last areas plus sum of remaining areas so this was the video on methods of calculating earthwork quantities thank you